This is a knot pattern you definitely don't want to miss out on. Nicole here and welcome to my Bochi Knot series. If you're feeling ready to start combining different knots and knot patterns together to create your own unique designs, then this knot series may be right for you. I'll be sharing with you a lot of knots and knot patterns that you've seen in many macrame projects, but I'll also be sharing with you some unique ones that you've rarely seen. The one I'll be sharing with you in this video tutorial is what I call a macrame shell pattern. And what's unique about this one is the way we weave the cords at the back so that you don't see the cord loops hanging out from the side in between the shells. Trust me when I say these scented knot patterns can be used in almost any macrame project. I've actually used this one in a plant hanger for the plant hanger pose and I've also recently used it in a dream catcher. I definitely love to see how you guys incorporate these knot patterns into your own macrame designs, so share with me on Instagram by tagging me at Bochi Knot. I really hope you guys will enjoy this one, and with that said, let's get right into it. To practice this knot pattern, I've used four strands of cord at 300 centimeters long each, and I've folded each of the cords in half and attached them onto this dowel with lark set knots. To begin our first shell pattern, we're going to start with the middle two cords and we're going to take the middle right cord as an anchor cord and we're going to make a diagonal double half inch knot to the left with the middle left cord as the working cord. Then using the same anchor cord on the left side, we're going to continue with the rest of the cords on the left for diagonal double half inch knots onto the anchor cord. Then taking the middle right cord as an anchor cord, we're going to make three diagonal double half inch knots to the right side. Now we're going to make a second row of double half hitch knots on both sides. Starting with the middle left cord as an anchor cord, we're going to take the left three cords and attach them onto this anchor cord with double half hitch knots. The only thing we're going to do differently here is with every double half hitch knot we make, we're going to leave an increasing amount of space in between the double half hitch knot rows. So we start off very close to the row above, then as we head on over to the left side, we're going to increase the gap in between the two rows. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a loop on the left side. Now we're going to repeat the same pattern on the right side with the middle right cord as an anchor cord for three double half inch knots to the right, increasing the spacing in between the two rows as we head on over to the right. Now we're going to repeat this once more on both sides for another diagonal row of double half inch knots to the sides, leaving the same amount of space in between the rows. Now to finish off this first shell pattern, we're going to take the anchor cords on both sides, bring them to the center for one last diagonal double half inch knot to the left. 
Now to start our second shell pattern underneath, we're not just going to take the same cords from above and make them below, we're going to switch the cords on both sides. So to do this, we're going to stick with the middle two cords as the anchor cords, but we're going to take the far right back cord, bring it to the middle front, and use that as the first cord for a diagonal double half inch knot to the left side. So using the middle left cord as an anchor cord, make a double half inch knot to the left. Now that we started on the right side, we're going to take the far left back cord, so that cord right there, bring it through the middle and to the front side on the right, use that as a working cord for a diagonal double half inch knot to the right side onto the middle right anchor cord. Now we're going to continue right to left, right to left, until all of the cords are attached onto the anchor cords with double half inch knots. So now that the top row of double half hitch knots are made, you can see that there are no loops on the sides of the shell pattern, which is what we want. And now we can finish off the rest of the shell pattern like we did the first shell pattern above. Repeat this pattern once more below. And we are now complete with the macrame shell pattern. You can make as many of these as you want for the size of your project. And that concludes our macrame shell pattern tutorial, which I hope you guys had fun making and incorporating into your own macrame designs. If you guys like and enjoy videos like this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more knot tutorials just like this one. I will be coming out with a lot more knot pattern tutorials, so if there are any designs that you want to see more of, if you want to see more shell patterns, more floral or vine leaf patterns, let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see and I'll try to get that made for you. If you guys are keen on learning more advanced macrame knotting techniques, we do go over that in detail on our Bochy Knot Macrame community on Patreon. So if you guys are interested in finding out more about that, you guys can head on over to patreon.com slash for more details. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.